And me about myself, I can tell you. Yesterday night, I saw one of my shirts was cut. I had a cut in one of the sleeves of the white butterfly. And I didn't know what to do with myself. I looked at it, and I know I need to do tshuva. And then my wife spoke to me about something, and she rebuked me on me talking too much. Yes, it can happen to a husband that his wife, she will, and she's okay with it. But I had to listen to that rebuke, and I heard from her that I'm explaining myself a little bit too much. And I heard that. And then I remembered that it's written that the defect of the clothings of the Gamma Bgadim is coming because of Gamma Dibur, because of defect. Of, 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 of the speech that you talk too much that you talk nonsense this is how you and it, it just crossed my mind and I said to myself hey you cannot ignore that cut it's, it's cut someone one of your five ninjas cut your shirt it, it, you, you have to deal with that it's reality go ask them who did it not me angels with bright eyes no not me shiny eyes no no one well, Hashem did it? Yes, yeah, that's the answer, for sure. Hashem did it. On that you cannot argue. Okay, so Hashem, why you cut my shirt? Okay, so now I got that rebuke. And my wife is telling me, you talk too much. Okay, so then you feel that shame. You feel you want to cry. You feel bad with yourself. You don't understand why she's saying that. Listen, you see that your clothes are cut. You see that you have gum up gadim, that something defected your sleeve. Okay, so... Listen, maybe you can do tshuva on that. And then I'm talking to my wife, and we're talking about laundry, and we're talking about a lot of things, and we're discussing, and w normal, regular life. And then we had that thing in our house, many, many times it happened to us, that a lot of our white shirts and, and, and underpants and, and white, white fabrics got stains, a lot of stains. It's happening in a lot of houses, but still, again, don't ignore it. It calls Pgam Abgadim. Talmid Chacham, Sheyesh Ketem Al Bigdo, Chayav Mita. If there is a stain on a fabric, on a, a opt on clothes of, 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 of a Talmid Chacham, of a righteous man, so it's hinting him, it's telling him, you had to die. It's instead of killing the person, it's a rebuke. Hashem is rebu rebuking the person. And we, for a long time in our lives, we had a lot of stains on the white things. Okay, so what are we doing? We're doing tshuva again and again. But yesterday, while my wife and I are talking, and she's always looking for a better soap for the, for the, for the machine and, another, and something, all of those things that, that women understand about, and we don't have a clue what's going on at all. And she, yesterday, we, we came to that understanding that, thank God, in the last period of time, maybe let's say two or three months, we didn't saw new stains. The clothes that we haven't thrown away and bought new ones still have the old stains. But the ones that, uh, that, uh, that are new, or, or the, those ones, didn't get, receive new stains. And then I'm thinking to myself, hey, so you see that Hashem Barach is helping you to fix the defect of clothing, Gamma Bgadim? So yes, it's a very deep observation to pay attention to all of those details. But if something is going better in your life, you cannot ignore it. You just need to listen all the way to the supervision of Hashem Barach on you. Yes, if now your clothes are cleaner than yesterday, than last month, if today you're eating a little bit better, it means that Hashem Barach is helping you and healing you. Even in your laundry you can see it. Even in your white underpants you can see it. You can see the supervision of the Creator on you in your life. And it depends in your actions, in your thoughts, in your prayers. And if you go to Hashem and you work on yourself, so also in that thing, you will be blessed. And you will be blessed in your eating. And you will be blessed in, your, in the way that you wear. And you will be blessed in the cleaning in your house. And you will be blessed knowing how to organize your life better. The Shechina Kedosha will hover in your house and Birkat Hashem Itashir and the blessing of Hashem will make you wealthy, will make you healthy, will make you pure, will make you happy, will make you laugh, will make you everything. You... What? The blessing of Hashem. 